Genesis chapter 13, verse 2. Abram was very rich in cattle, in silver, and in gold. Abram was not only rich, he was very rich. The Bible was very careful in the, in the adjective that was used for Abram. He was not only a rich man, but he was very rich. He was not only very rich in cattle, he was also very rich in cattle and gold. He was not only rich in cattle and gold, he also had riches in silver. If you compare Abram to the rich man of today, Abram could be described as a multi billionaire And this is the same Abram that worked with God. This is the same Abram that the Bible describes as a righteous man. This is the same Abram that the Bible describes as a blameless man. So, what makes you think that God is not interested in your prosperity? What makes you think that by serving God, by being blameless, by being righteous, you cannot be comfortable financially? Everyone, everybody that work with God in the Bible were rich. All the servants of God were prosperous. Joseph was prosperous. Daniel was prosperous. Sonoma was prosperous. Everyone that worked with God. God has not called you to poverty. And the, the good news is that through righteousness, you can become rich. You don't need to steal. You don't need to manipulate. All you need to do is to work with God and serve God. I rebook the spirit of poverty in your life. I cause the root of poverty in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I challenge every power, every spirit that is sponsoring poverty, that is sponsoring suffering, financial struggle in your life, the spirit of death, the poverty of your father's house that wants to recycle itself over your life. I command that spirit of poverty to die in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The stronghold of poverty, I break it over your life. Poverty is a stronghold. Poverty is a very stubborn demon. Of all the battles I face, it, one of the most stubborn battles that it took me a lot of time to overcome is poverty. Once upon a time, I was poor. But today I can boast that God has made me comfortable. At least I can pay my bills. And I can boast that I didn't steal money. I can boast that I did not manipulate. I can boast that I never took a bribe. I never offered a bribe. By the grace of God, I waited on God. And God is blessing me. God shall transform your situation in Jesus' mighty name. God will, God will turn around your captivity. Every forces of darkness, every witchcraft power, every strong good that has held you into poverty, I command the chains to be broken. I command their strong oaths to be broken in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let the angels of God push you into your, into your river Jordan of breakthrough. Let the angel of God push you into the, your, into the waters of your prosperity. Thou shalt be rich. Money shall pursue you. Dollars shall pursue you. Pounds shall pursue you. Heroes shall pursue you. Prosperity shall pursue you. Thou shalt not be poor in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As you serve God, that is the formula for riches. That is a spiritual formula for, for prosperity. For prosperity and righteousness. And the spiritual formula is service to God. is obedience to God. is being valuable to God. As you serve God, God will serve you with riches. He will serve you with honor. He will serve you with wealth. He will serve you with prosperity. He will organize doors for you. Just serve God. He will reward you. When I was serving small... I was trying to serve God and I was thinking that what is going to be my reward. The Spirit of God revealed Hebrews 11 6 to me that whosoever that comes to God must believe he is and that he is a rewarder of those that are diligently seeking. God shall reward you financially. Poverty shall be history in your life and you shall move into your comfort, into your financial comfort. You shall move into the era of abundance. So shall it be. 
in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.